Welcome to another Tips and Tricks with uh, Doug Varenberg. Tonight we're going to talk about how to update your software on your Humminbird units. Uh, we'll go through downloading it on the PC all the way to installing it on the unit. What you'll need to do to start the download process is open up an internet browser. Go to www.humminbird.com. We will go to the support tab to start an account which is under product registration. This is where you'll enter your serial number and your personal information uh, to create your own account. I have already done this and so I'm going to go to the support tab up here in the top right hand corner it'll ask you for your username and password and then you'll need to click on the login box. Once you do that a screen pops up with all of the units that you have registered. Tonight we're going to go down to the 1197C unit to update the software. Uh, there's four items. A Humminbird PC, which is your waypoint management software. The next item is a Sun to XTF file, which is a waypoint or a sonar recording uh, conversion program to use third-party software viewing on your computer. The third item that's listed here is the 1197C SI Combo Update version 4.950. That will be our software update. And the last item is a Sun to, X, to XTF for Windows Vista version, which is that, another version of that conversion file. We will click on the 1197C SI update. It will bring up uh, a pop-up box that says free download. It will tell us the model and the version number. And it will also give us the date of, that the update was released, which this was June 7th of 2010 at 12 a.m. It'll give us our version and it'll give us a brief description of what's in the update. Then you'll see your prerequisites to do a download, which this tells us that we're going to use the SD card for the download process and it'll give us instructions. Down in the bottom right is a says begin download. We will click on it. It'll ask us where do you want to save this save this file or find a program online to open it. You will want to choose the save button and it will actually open a new pop-up box that will tell you the SD card reader drive or you will have to locate that. For me that is my E drive and I will click on save to save the version of software to the SD card reader and it will give you a time frame of how long that download will take. As the unit nears completion it will automatically close this pop-up box and what I recommend is to, is to minimize your web browser and go to my computer and click on my computer it will open and you will select the the E drive or the drive drive that your SD card reader is located in. Open it. It will show you all the files available on that SD card. And there will be a bin file, B-I-N, and that will be the up the down the software download. And for example, it's the eleven ninety seven version four point nine five oh. You do not need to do anything to this file. It is on the card and the unit will automatically update it. We will now go to updating the 1197 or your model that you're updating. Okay, the next step before you put the card in the unit is to go to the master menu, two menu clicks, go over to the setup tab and restore defaults. You'll answer yes to confirm restore defaults. Once that is done, then you can insert the card in the card reader slot, either one, the left one or the right one. It will automatically recognize the update. It will ask you if you want to replace the old version of software with the new version. And you will answer yes 
and then it'll ask you you want to abort the software update and you'll answer no and then it will go through several different screen changes uh, while it is updating. At this point do not disrupt power to the unit or stop the unit for any reason. If you do the unit may have to be returned to Humminbird to be reset. Once the update is done, it will say software update complete, restarting with a green screen. It will say loading. The master menu will come up. Current software has been updated and it wants to ask if it recognizes the current update on the card and it says no update required. At this point, we'll need to exit and you're ready to use your new software on your Humminbird. But there's one last thing. The last thing you need to do after you install the update is you need to go back to the master menu by hitting the menu button twice. Go to the setup tab with the wrench and the screwdriver and go back down to restore defaults and restore it one more time. Answer yes and the unit is ready to go. Uh, you can now take that SD card and go back to your computer and delete the bin file off of it as it is no longer needed. The last thing you need to do if you would like to get rid of the software update off the card so it doesn't continue to ask it every time you start up your unit is pull the card out, put it back in your SD card reader on your computer, go to My Computer, Open up that E drive and you'll see that bin file again. If you right click on it and you can go down to delete and you can answer yes to it and it will delete the card off of the the file off of the card. Thanks for tuning in to this short video clip on how to update your Humminbird software. I hope it makes you feel more comfortable and easier to do it yourself. Humminbird provide these updates to give you the latest and greatest features uh, to keep your investment lasting longer and longer. Uh, tune in next time as we do more tips and tricks, and thank you.